Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fooly Cooly episode number six and this is the final episode of uh, this season. So um, in the previous episode, uh, we quite got quite a few information. The main thing that we got understood there very clearly is the, that everyone has like a guitar within them or something like that. And um, like the guy that we've been seeing with eyebrows, he was like a previous partner of Haruko and like his guitar was a small one. So like, you know, <laughs> like it didn't work properly, all that stuff. While uh, Nauta, his guitar is pretty, like, you know, good. The, way, the thing that he, like, you know, Haruko was pulled out of him. But there's another thing that's happening is Kanti has another guitar within his head which I think uh, is the Gibson model, which is the one Haruko really wants. And this uh, guitar only comes out when um, Naota and uh, Kanti are fused together, I think. Like that was what was happening because in the end Haruko was like, you know, after getting to see that that was the Gibson model, she was like, oh, finally I found it, you know, and uh, it was something like that. So like, I, I think that's like the basic, um like thing the actual thing that's happening and this actually answers a lot of questions that i had <laughs> so yeah like i'm guessing we're going to get a few more clarifications in the final episode that is in this episode so yeah okay now i kind of thought about like you know like i know there are two sequels uh movies of this uh that is fully coolly i think progressive and fully coolly um i can't remember there's another one um uh which i think like which are not as good as this one because i've saw seen the rating like fully coolly has like an eight point something rating while as while progressive and the other one has like six or something rating i don't know why and um i probably won't react to that i'll probably check those out on my own uh so yeah that's just something that i wanted you guys to know so yeah like uh let's get started with this episode this is the final episode of fully coolie so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go what Really? Oh, I didn't know that. <coughs> <laughs> Wait, aren't you Japanese? Shouldn't you be able to? Okay. Spork. Spork. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, what happened after? Okay, I wonder what happened after that. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's what happened. Wow. Right hand of a prison warden. Oh, so Kanti and Haruko are not here anymore? Yeah. What's he doing? Is he on a trade event?
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's just like, why did I? Oh, it's talking about the cat, I think. What the hell? That was random. Huh. <laughs> Not the wife. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. Is that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> why is he in a scooter? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. No, it's talking about mommy, isn't it? Real name. So Haruko was like a fake name? Atomsk. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's what Atoms is. They were kind of mentioning that in the previous episode. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> you can eat it. Oh, uh, it's the uh, Nauta's brother's phone number. So, whoa, it got bigger. <laughs> oh my god okay so Oh my god, is she? Yep. 
I knew it. <laughs> Wanted fugitive. Vacation. My god, I'm good with the man manga panels. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh my god What's that noise? Hmm. Is she an alien? I think. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of remembering his brother. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was that thing. Huh. This is a dog. What did she bring?
Ooh. Uh. <laughs> wow. Units surrounding it. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, she's feeding it. Now we don't even know what's going to Oh my, is it getting bigger? Hmm. Hmm. Talking about that atom mosque. Oh, is it taking? <laughs> so weird looking. <laughs> okay. What? What is this? Oh no! Is is she like going to feed feed it? All of this? Oh, is, is that guy on the scooter? He's <laughs> gonna feed it his. Oh my god. Is this safe? Like, this dog is going to get bigger and bigger. Oh my. Oh my god, this girl is going to... Something's going to go very wrong. She's continuously feeding it. No, this is Haruko's, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I, I wonder if she's going to target um, Haruko's bike as well. Yeah. 
Hop. Hop. Yeah, obviously this was going to happen. Uh, oh my god, it's targeting big cars now. Great. Well, obviously. Wow, she's try uh, trying to talk with the dad, great. <laughs> the dad is even more problematic than Nauta. Uh, um, <laughs> <What? laughs> okay, it is the terminal core. I was kind of thinking if it is the terminal core. Oh, Kant is here. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand now. Kanti was a part of it. <laughs> oh my God. It won't work, obviously. Oops. Oh, it's good. Oh, my God. Okay. It's still missing something. What? Why? Dude, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay oh well kanti is in it so no yeah they're going to fuse now here we go well so i'm guessing atomos is going to get unlocked now or something Flattening pal planets all over the galaxy. Oh, I'm sure Haruko has some other plan. My God.
okay. Oh, it's flattening or ironing the planets. Oh my god, it makes so much sense now. The, this is like the hand and the iron. Oh! Whoa! Is that atom? No. Just piratize. Oh wow! Wait, is that possible? Okay! Wow! Whoa! What the? Oh! Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, so... Yep. Yeah, that's the Pirate King. Wow, it's like a monster. <laughs> His eyebrows. Oh, it's like a bird. Whoa, it's gone. My god, this episode. <laughs> oh, oh, the iron is falling. Ooh, okay. <laughs> wow, her, her scooter flies. <laughs> this poor girl. Oh wait, this is this is Harko's guitar, isn't it? Oh. What? Huh. 
Wow. Oh, Kanji is here. Oh, Mami went. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, <clears throat> it ended in a very, I think, op open way, like, like, it's like, like, it had an ending, but it's still like, you know, more open ended as to no one knows why Haruko went, Mamimi also went on her own way. And now that is like, you know, keep is going to keep going on his like, you know, normal life. So I'm guessing this kind of continues in the sequels and progressive and the I think fully cool alternative. And I know like um, those two have different other characters. So I'm guessing since those are sequels, Haruko goes somewhere else trying to find Atomsk or something like that. <coughs> okay. A lot of things got explained, I have to say. Like, I was not expecting any explanation. <laughs> but they did explain everything. In a way. Like, it was a little bit vague. But they did, you know, explain why Haruko is here. Which is like the main mystery here. Why she was here. She was here to get a hold of Atoms. And, like, she was kind of using Naota to get that. But Naota, in the end, you know, kind of went a little bit in a different started working in a different way and the way he handled the situation did not fulfill um haruko's uh, goal of getting atomos and atomos i guess like you know <coughs> went away somewhere again and haruko again has to like go and uh, chase it and another thing i kind of realized Haruko said something like I will be the one to consume it so Atomos is like a power or some kind of like a like power source or something like that I guess all right that's the end okay that was the final episode episode 6 of Fooly Hooly and it wraps up kind of in a good way but at the same time it was a lot open-ended than I expected because they barely kind of in the end everything kind of happened and they didn't show us much like we did not get any kind of interaction with Mamimi and um uh what's that Naota Naota like it, it it's just said that yeah Mamimi after that left school and Mamimi uh went on her own way like to do photography I think and um then there was that whole thing with um uh, Haruko going away and that's just it like you know that it ended like that without any proper explanations and that was just it so in a way I guess it's more open-ended and uh, because we still don't know what Haruko is going to do and where she is it's just that Naota like you know like was like obviously she was like an ordinary kid and in during Haruko's stay like something extraordinary happened and like th these few days were like something completely different for him but again in the end you know after haruko goes haruka goes away she, he'll again like you know revert ba back to her, his normal life and <clears throat> yeah keep going now this episode here um at the beginning we kind of see like another thing was explained here which was the main uh what do you call it the main goal of medical mechanica um <laughs> uh, it, it basically <laughs> destroys planet i as far as i could understand and it says something like flattens planet and it's kind of interesting to see like you know like the hand which was i'm guessing like a some kind of a mechanic like some kind of a contraption 
after getting fused with the different components which was number one was the little dog thing uh, which was the main core uh, core terminal i think that's what they called it and uh, kanti was another part of it and um that hand after all of them combining it was like like a completely different thing and it was like holding on to the iron the big thing and i'm guessing that's how it flattens planets or something i'm not sure and uh, haruko's main goal was to get can uh, get um atomus out of that <coughs> now <coughs> uh to uh, to get her goal to reach her goal she didn't care whatever happened to the planet that was like her main thing like she was basically using everyone in a way to get her own goal which was like getting atomos out so by the end of it nauta i guess like you know decides to actually not completely help um uh, haruko but just you know like make it seem as if she he's helping her and at the end you know he kind of did everything on his own kind of went on his own plan and kind of helped uh not helped but kind of saved the whole place and they did like they had a little bit of a fight as well and i think that was like the um the whole prioritization thing that happened i'm guessing atomos kind of got integrated within um nauta now that's why haruko became very mad at that moment because haruko's main plan was to consume uh, atoms like he said like you know the, the way she explained it that uh, not she um i think the guy the way the guy explained it was a very what can i say like it was a very different way he explained the whole situation he said something like um uh, atomosk is something that uh Uh, like you know haruko wants she, she's in love with it that's why she's here to rescue it which is a very um i have to say like <laughs> very weird of way of actually explaining the situation because by the end of it i didn't think that was haruko's main goal haruko's main goal was to consume atomosk which obviously is weird to hear the guy say it in that way like like I don't know like it was really weird because the last thing kind of proves that like Haruko really did want to consume the power that Atmos had that's why when um <clears throat> Naota became fused with it and uh the guy said oh like he piratized or something like that which i guess is like a fusion of Atmos and him um Haruko became Haruko became mad because she she said that my plan was to like it was my um goal to actually consume the power so why did you do it that's why she, he got she got mad and started attacking naota so that was her goal her goal was to actually um consume or like you know fuse with atmos or something like that get the power so <clears throat> yeah which is obviously not what the guy said but i guess that's also another way of explaining it <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah now <clears throat> that was the whole thing with naota and haruko and <clears throat> another thing that happened was haruko like said something like do you want to go with me which again i think like then she said that no like like you know you you cannot because you're a kid you're still a kid and <clears throat> i don't know like that kind of gave me what can i say mixed signals that i felt like she really did want her him to go with him her but at the same time like you know like as she said like she he's still a kid and he has his own life to lead and his own thing to do um if she he actually follows haruko haruko herself knows that she is going to um keep using him for her own benefits and that's what she was basically doing So she knew that she was going to do that to get to her own goal she was going to keep using uh, Naota which is definitely not something I think she felt comfortable doing and that's why by the end like you know she kind of said that I will you go with me and then she said that no you're a kid you don't need to, you, you you like you know you you shouldn't you shouldn't come with me you can't come with me 
and she just went on her own way because <clears throat> like um even though like you know like she i guess she she was using him at the same time i'm sure like she had a little bit of uh like you know soft spot for him and a little affection for him that's why by the end like you know like she knew that if she keeps going if nauta goes with her obviously she is going to keep going on her goal which is trying to get at a mosque while she like you know is going to keep using nauta for his her own benefits which i am sure she probably felt a little bad about doing and that's why in the end she said that no i don't know this is just my interpretation it must be something completely different which <clears throat> which i'm not understanding but who knows and um yeah that was the whole thing with naota and haruko the thing with mamimi here is um <clears throat> i think mamimi by the end like she was always kind of clinging to her past in a way you know like the whole thing with the um brother tasku and you know like uh <clears throat> the feelings that she had for him uh the one sided feelings she was always kind of clinging to it so i'm guessing the scene where she actually um feeds the phone to the dog thing is like you know the phone had the number of uh the brother like at the beginning she was like don't eat it you know like she was like don't eat it stop um you it contains the uh, phone number of uh, tasku and then then she said that okay you can eat it like i don't know i i think that was probably her way of actually severing her past and trying to move on with her current life or who knows maybe not i'm not sure but because after that she kind of goes berserk in a way she starts like you know like plotting some revenge or something <laughs> like you know starts uh, feeding the thing um Oh, I guess she was basically yeah. She said something like my revenge thing or something. Like obviously the guy who flashed her, you know, using the scooter. <clears throat> she fed the dog that the scooter, and she was feeding it all the other a, a lot of other different things as well. So I'm guessing like she was kind of taking her revenge on probably people who messed with her or something. Like like she was being bullied. Like that's that was something that. Uh, i'm sure like every one of us noticed you know like <clears throat> she was probably being bullied by her class in her class or something so i'm guessing she was kind of taking her revenge on all of that or something like that she was doing uh but she wasn't able to understand that yeah that thing would would go berserk and it did go berserk and <clears throat> yeah now uh then by the end of it like you know she i'm guessing as as i said like she put her past behind her and that's why i guess she re realized that yeah she, i need to do something else with my um life and the last scene where uh nauta is there she brings out her phone snaps a picture and <clears throat> i'm guessing that probably gives her a <coughs> new goal in life that is like you know the goal of photography like um like you know snapping pictures and doing stuff like that and that's why she decided to leave the place and i don't know pursue her um passion so <clears throat> yeah and um now one thing i I don't know what happened there. This is one thing that I don't understand. Why was Kanti there? Like, why was Kanti st like still alive in the end? Like, he was doing his own job as I, I as I saw. Like, you know, he was doing the normal housekeeping job job that he does. So how is he still alive? Like, <clears throat> that's one thing that kind of confuses me. I'm not sure. I'll probably try to check it out if that has like an explanation or something. But I guess Kanti is like a uh, independent thing now, you know. Like uh, he is like a part of the thing when he gets fused. But at the same time, he also works independently of that. So in a way, I guess he is kind of an independent entity now. That's why he's, he's probably just <laughs> you know continuing his job, uh, living with Nauta's family now. Something who knows. So yeah.
okay and i think that was it and yeah so basically that was it like haruko was basically a girl who uh came here for her own goals she decided to use naota and all the other people here and <clears throat> you know if up until the end she kept using naota in, because of her own goals and her own uh you know uh aspiration no uh, yeah her own goals so that in itself is i guess in a way she kind of used naota's feelings you know for her against uh not against but to try to get her own job done but by the end of it i guess she did have like a little bit of empathy for him so you know she just went away by the end she was like yeah like my job here is done um <laughs> atmosk is not here anymore so i'll just go and yeah that was basically it and uh like not everything is bad if you like you know like if you think about it like this like it makes it feel as if like haruko is like the villain here but in a way i have to say like probably had because haruko was here now that was able to um what can i say change you know in a lot of ways like remember that episode where he swung for the first time like he has always been living and and like you know in the in the shadow of his brother and like you know this was this whole thing so like interacting with haruko and like you know doing the things that she like you know dug him along for like she she kept dragging him around each and everywhere like you know like making stuff uh, like you know making things more difficult for him which slowly slowly made him change as a person and <clears throat> he probably was able to get out of his brother's shadow by the end of it and uh as we see in that episode she he was able to swing by for himself for the first time without uh relying on her his brother and not only the um, naota each and every character that uh, haruka interacted with in a way kind of changed uh, the girl the 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 other girl i'm talking about i'm not talking about mami me the other girl i forgot her name um the one uh, in episode 3 um the one who had the problem with like you know the mom and dad she also changed she was able to change uh, mami me changed and like these three were the main characters of this show uh, and all the other characters were kind of like the background characters so <clears throat> all the characters that she came in contact with were able to change for the better so in a way uh, as a conclusion i guess everything like worked out well for all of them and like mami me is like you know now doing her own thing she was able to understand like uh, you know like tag like you know uh, stringing along the past won't help her and so was uh, naota able to understand that living in my brother's shadow all the time fearing you know like not doing anything for my own not swing swinging my bat is going is not going to help me either and he was also able to take a step forward so did the other girl who like you know the other girl the um, one in the third episode the problem with her mom his mom her mom and dad like you know she keeps everything hidden within her and doesn't actually express everything which in a way i guess by the end of it she was able to express and you know like again she was able to move forward in the correct direction so all in all like it as i say it does seem like how now haruko used each and every one of them but at the same time it was not like that is the only thing that happened all the other characters were able to move forward with their life in a positive direction so i guess that's something you know so yeah that's like the good thing that came out of this whole situation so not everything was bad people were able to improve and yeah by the end of it everything ended well i guess all ends all well that ends well and uh, yeah we'll see like you know naota would probably do his own thing um uh, maybe someday mami will me will come back and uh yeah life will go on <laughs> so yeah that was it that was fully coolly uh, the final episode of fully coolly and uh, yeah that was a great show um i was thinking this would probably be more like you won't be able to understand anything they won't explain anything by the end of it uh that did not go the way i was thinking it would go and they did explain everything in 
uh, even though they kind of brushed the surface they did explain uh, quite a lot of things like there are a few things that i still don't understand it's like the thing about the guitar you know what about the gifts and like what the hell happened there i don't understand now like the previous episode they like you know gave like a huge emphasis on the gibson but in the final episode there was nothing mentioned anything like that like that's one thing that's kind of confusing me the whole thing with kanti is also confusing me few things that are still confusing me but all in all like it was like can explain properly the main thing i understood and like you know uh, most of the things i was able to understand and like the beginning few episodes were so chaotic and like i was like how am i even going to understand within six episodes but by the end of it they did they were able to make us understand everything so <laughs> yeah that's like a job well done for them i guess so yeah that was it so uh, that was fully cooly thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the final episode episode number 6 of fully cooly so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out So that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys um, next week with another—not uh, next week, but with another video. Now, uh, like I'm not going to replace this one with another show because uh, I, like, you know, my schedule in itself is pretty packed up, and the animes that I'm doing now, I'm going to continue doing that. So this episode is not going to be replaced by anything else. Um, probably in the future, uh, like you know, uh, what do you call it? uh in in the next year in 2022 uh, when another like you know new uh, season of anime starts uh, i'm i'm going to like you know probably add more shows but for now for december i'm not going to include any show uh, this will be the end and this show will not be replaced by anything because my schedule in itself is pretty packed throughout whole december and yeah so anyways so see you guys uh, in my next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day